Okay. Good. Perfect. Don't miss. Okay, good. Don't miss this one. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Logic Bots. You guys all seem to really really like the last video I did and I'm really happy about that because I really like this game. And uh, so we're going to keep going here with the career mode. We're going to keep going with, with the sharp bends. All these objectives are kind of hard to do all at the same time. So I think for this one, I'm going to try and do this complete the level without using any gates in your circuit board. And uh, it's, it's really the same thing as the last couple levels where all we're doing is following a black line with a robot. But uh, this is a little bit more different because of these sharp corners. For the main body, we'll use the bot gear. Now, you guys did say in the last video to use uh, snap lines, because I was complaining about that. I, I already have some preset ones, so let's just get rid of those. And uh, I appreciate whoever said that, because that's actually super convenient. So we can go and place a snap line like this. We'll call that snap line one, and then we can place another one. I mean, I could put a snap line for this, but it doesn't really matter. All right, perfect. And then uh, because we're gonna be driving this thing, I think we're gonna need two light sensors on the front. And these will drive the two motors because we're not using any gates. We can't have an on switch. So we have to actually have sensors that activate the motors. Obviously to drive this thing, we got the right sensor and we've got the left sensor. Now, uh, let me think about it. If you have the right sensor on, it means you're allowed to push the left motor because the, pushing the left motor is gonna turn you to the right. And if you have the left motor sensor on, you're allowed to push the right motor. And that should keep it within the lines left to right. All right, so you can see there, it's it's keeping itself within the lines, but then when it hits these corners, uh, it just runs right off. So, I think the solution to do that is all we need to do is put a box section on here. And we could probably do this without a box section, but I, I mean, we're not really gonna make, see, this is the budget limit. The budget limit is $400. I have no idea how you're supposed to beat this challenge with $400. There's, there's gotta be something, but I think if we put a box here and then we put another sensor here and this is gonna have to go uh, negative 90 rotation. It should allow you to detect the line, the corner before the other two sensors go off. And then, so if they turn the vehicle before the sensors go off, we should be able to make this work. So we're gonna go left front here and right front here. And if the left front sensor gets detected, you need to change the left motor direction. And if the right front sensor gets detected, you need to change the right motor direction. And now it looks kind of ridiculous, but come on, do it. Um, all right, so I think I think the problem was I was kind of silly, but I put the drive wheels too far to the back because the drive wheels are actually your pivot point, and that's the point where you rotate. So if it's back here, it has a longer pivot, and the sensors were going off. So I think I think this will fix it. Move the drive wheels up. We've got the sensors, so it detects the corner, and then it it flings it around enough there so that these sensors pick up the wall, and then it keeps driving. So do it. Next corner, perfect. I don't think we're gonna beat the time record. I feel like it's a little slow, but it's very consistent. So who knows, it might do something. I, I honestly, the budget's $400. I really don't know. Time goal is 123. I mean, it's, it's going, but this is a long section back here. You know, it's very satisfying when you, you spend a bit of time tuning your bot and you finally get it just perfect very satisfying feeling you have to sometimes you just like honestly I mean the the methodology was there it was just a matter of adjusting the distances to get everything and of course the wheels were in the wrong spot yeah no it's not gonna get the 123 time goal definitely not gonna get the 123 time goal so we're gonna I think to get that we're gonna have to build something that like maybe shoots around here or something and bounces off the wall maybe I don't know but it is gonna get that lovely, do not use any logic gates. Fantastic. Now, of course, we've got a dashed line. Complete the level using three or less gates in your circuit board, okay. Build a logic bot that can follow a dashed line. Your logic bot must reach the finish line without crossing any of the hazard areas. Complete the level 115 or less. Robot costs a 540 or less. I think, you know what? We might actually have a good chance of doing a lot of these challenges. So, I think we're not gonna, we're not gonna try doing anything special here. We're just gonna build a standard run of the mill robot here. So we're just gonna go like this. We're gonna put some snap lines on it. 
So all we're gonna do, I think, for this is just do the same thing we did, I think, for like the second race, where um, it's just two sensors, one on the right, one on the left, and the sensors, uh, if they detect the line, then they turn away from it, right? So you know what I'm saying? So it's just gonna be like this and like this, put down a switch. We are allowed to use switches according to the thing, to the, uh, the challenge, so one gate like that which turns both motors on. And if the left motor gets detected, you have to switch the left direction. If the right motor gets detected, you switch the right direction. And hopefully this will just kind of bounce around between the dash lines and be straight enough in between them that it doesn't uh, it doesn't go too far off track. I don't, I don't know if this will work. It seems like it's doing it so far. All right, buddy, you can do it. See, now it's gonna just go boom and kind of, see, perfect. It's just bouncing between the dash lines. Like that's that's really all you need. Perfect. Hopefully it'll, yep. Come on, just keep just keep doing it. It's fine. Perfect. As long as it doesn't miss a single dash line and get in between them, but I think the sensors are close enough that it, it should do it. I think this might beat them all except for the time goal because it, the jerking motion is definitely not, not a quick one. It needs to be a lot smoother. I think to do it better, you'd have to have multiple sensors and uh, do some OR gates and that sort of thing. So you have like maybe sensors in the front and in the back to kind of make it, oh man, it almost missed that. Okay, don't miss this last co corners. Okay, good, perfect, don't miss. Okay, good. Don't miss this one. Oh my goodness, are you serious? You were so close. I just, I just want to leave you in the corner now. All right, we're going to move the sensors a little bit wider apart. Hopefully that helps a little bit in uh, in the bouncingness. And we're going to time accelerate this time. All right, perfect. Yep, no, great. Brilliant, awesome. Okay, yeah, it's, it just jerks back and forth. All right, come on, you can do it. You can do it, buddy. All right, let's go normal speed here. Oh, that was close. Alright, these last corners. It's got a little bit wider of a sensor, so hopefully that'll be enough for it to just pick it up. Oh, perfect. Brilliant. Awesome. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes. So we're going to do one more here. We're going to do the, the platform level. Um, I don't really know what this one is. So what's this? Build a launch bot that can navigate its way along the raised platform without falling off the edge. Okay, complete the level in 24 seconds or less. Okay, it must be a short level. Robot cost of 450 or less. Complete the level without using any static value gates on your circuit board. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that is exciting. Have to use the spider tech. The idea is really simple now. So you put a laser ranger on either side, the laser ranger goes down, and you say if the laser ranger is longer than, you know, the whatever value, three or whatever, then you, you're that means that you're about to go off the edge, so turn away from it. So that's, that's exactly what they want you to do. Okay, and so it said complete it without using any static value gates on your circuit board. So what we're gonna do is this gonna be the left in, and this is gonna be the left out. All right, so we've got our, holy cow, that's a big circuit board. Okay, so we've got left out, uh, left in, right in, and right out. Look, we've got them organized how they are on the board. That's fantastic. All right, so it's really, really simple. So we're gonna go greater than, and we're gonna go greater than, and we're gonna go, see, this is a static value. I don't want a static value. I want a dual switch. So the motors are always gonna be on, just with a switch, perfect. And then on the left side, we're gonna say, okay, if the left out is greater than the left in, then that means you want to reverse the right motor direction. If the right out is greater than the right in, then you wanna switch the left motor direction. And now what'll happen is, as it gets to the edge, oh goodness, it's gonna, see there, it's gonna turn around. See, so as what happens is as one sensor goes over the edge, it says, okay, that sensor is sensing a much greater distance than the other one. So uh, this thing is ridiculous. Why is it? It's so jerky. There we go. That kind of helps reduce the bumps. I mean, it's going to make it. It's just, it's not very quick. 
But anyways, guys, obviously my robot skills uh, need a little bit of improvement. It works. It's functional. It's not graceful. It looks kind of derpy. And I think, I think I'm definitely going to need to improve my skills. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure if you do like this video, hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm definitely going to keep playing more of this game. You guys seem to like it. I really like it. I find it silly, but it's actually awesome. See, only we're only going to get that one achievement. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.